Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today we are going to study Physical Geography Chapter 2, Foraging in East Africa, Lesson 2 of 2, Broke Mountain or Hosts. A block mountain is an upland bordered by forest scarps on either side. For example, Mount Renzoli in Uganda, Usambala Pere in Tanzania. The formation of block mountains is explained by three theories. Compression theory by Wayland, the tension force theory by Grigory and vertical displacement theory by Dixie. Candidates are advised to choose any of the theory when explaining the formation of a block mountain, including relative diagram. Formation of block mountain by compression of field. Compression of forces post a crystal block of land on either sides, resulting into stressing and hence development of reversed fault lines. The fault lines divided the crystal block into three parts as the action of compression forces continued. The central block was thrust upwards above the two adjacent blocks, forming a block mountain as illustrated below. Formation of block mountains by tension forces. Tension forces acted on half crust by pulling in opposite direction from each other. Fort lines divided the, the crust into three parts. The continued tension forces led to the sinking of the side blocks, the middle block remained stable above the side blocks to form a block mountain. Formation of block mountain by differential uplift field. Multiple fault lines formed a series of crystal blocks of varying sizes and densities. Then the forces of uplift acted on the crystal blocks with varying strength. The uplift force was strongest on the central block, which was forced to raise above the rest, forming a block mountain. The side blocks did not rise high enough, but formed the sides of the block mountain in stages as illustrated below. Formation of block mountain by relative sinking. Multiple floating formed a series of blocks of varying sizes and densities. Then the floated blocks experienced sinking 
which was not uniform. The side blocks sank faster than the central block. The central block remained relatively higher to form the peak of the mountain as illustrated below. Scarps, all forty escarpments. This is a steep slope along a forot formed when one block along the fault line was thrown above the other, as illustrated below. Examples of fort scarps are Butiaba, Kichwamba in Uganda, Mau Escarpment in Kenya, and so on. Grabinis. These are narrow, regular shaped, and deep depressions on the floor of the Rift Valley formed as a result of secondary faulting. For example, Graben is occupied by Lake Tanganyika, Lake Trukana, Lake Albert, and so on, as illustrated below. Guided Forty Valleys. Fort guided valleys were formed along a single fault where the fault zone was crossed and exposed to weathering and erosion, as shown below. Upland of inclined crystal blocks. It has an angular inclined ridges and depressions formed by multiple faulting and vertical movements, which displaced the faulted crystal blocks at different rates to form a series of treated D. Forty blocks as illustrated below. Tilted block lakes. These are lakes that occupy depressions between tilted uplands as shown below. An example is the Lake Orborosat in Abdea of Kenya. Wapping. The extensive downwards and upward movements of the crust led to the formation of depressions and upland. Down warping occurred in the central and southeastern Uganda to form depressions occupied by Lake Victoria, Choga, Wamala, and Lake Nachivali. Before warping took place, the land in central Uganda was sloping to the west, and the rivers like Katonga, 
River Kagera, River Ridge were flowing to the west. During the warping, the eastern and western Uganda were up warped, while the central Uganda was down warped, forming basins. After warping, rivers reverse their flow eastwards, emptying their waters into the basins to form Lake Victoria and Lake Chog, as illustrated by the diagrams below. The formed lakes are shallow in depth, having fresh water, irregular coastlines, and extensive sumps around them. <music> 